Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to your Energy Booster podcast. Today, we are going to start the special series for this December. Of course, December is always special because we celebrate New Year and Christmas. Oh, yeah, Christmas and then New Year. And yeah, for our first episode, um, we are going to be talking about the essence of joy. As we start into this festive season, let's start with a beautiful verse from the Bible, Philippians 4.4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. This is so easy to memorize, so if you have time, kindly memorize this one. Philippians 4.4, 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. This verse isn't just a command. It is an invitation to a joyful life, regardless of our circumstances. Joy, it's a word we hear often, especially around this time of the year, right? Joy to the world, like that. A lot of songs that talks about joy. But what does it truly mean to experience joy? What is joy, really? For me, joy is being content of our situation, regardless of the ups and downs. Joy is having peace despite of the chaos around us, at work or at home. Joy is being hopeful that the best is yet to come. There is joy in the morning, right? Joy is knowing that God is in control. Christmas is coming close. Like in three weeks, Christmas is when we celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. What is more joyous than knowing that for God so loved the world, he gave us his only begotten son, John 3.16, so we can live with him in heaven forever. I don't know about you. I don't know what you believe in, but This one thing for sure. What is this life if, or what is this life for, if there is no life after death? What is this life for if there is no meaning of it after all? Our life on this earth is too short to waste on being worried of the things that don't really matter. And we really love to be worried, right? Let us endure the race and be joyful in the good times and the bad. Because in the end, I mean, at the end of the day, There are still a lot of things to be thankful for. Well, let's talk about what, you know, stories in the Bible. Let's say one story that, you know, um, talks about joy. So... I think one would be the parable of the prodigal son in Luke 15. The story isn't just about forgiveness. Yeah? 
It's a celebration of return and restoration. The father's joy in welcoming his lost son mirrors the joy we experience when we re reconnect with what truly matters in our lives. Well, human as we are, I mean, example, me, my life. I think I had a lot of, I had a lot of moments where I get disconnected with my faith. And then I get back on it, disconnected and get back on it. But then, you know, what's really powerful there is like every time I get back, my Father in Heaven welcomes me back wholeheartedly with the embrace and the happiness and the celebration. What a wonderful moment to reflect on, just like this prodigal sign. This is our story. This is the reality of who we are. There would be moments in our life we would be we will be tested and we get distracted with things that don't really matter, you know, like we worship these idols in our lives and we forget to worship our one true God. Idols like success, fame, money, whatever it is, you know, that's so earthly and worldly. I mean, there's no it's not bad to 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 be to be wealthy and to be successful that is you know that is what god wants us to have or to enjoy in this lifetime but when we replace him when we replace him with all of these things then that's when we drift away but then, you know, he will always also put us in a moment that, you know, when the, all those things will, you know, when we fail, then we remember, oh, 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 those are not my God. Those things will just pass away, but my God will never leave me nor forsake me. So yeah, just a wonderful moment to reflect on this Christmas or this season of the year. So I get so emotional here, but yeah, I'm just speaking from the heart. Oh no, like, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to how do we cultivate, practically, how do we cultivate joy in our lives? So, number one, gratitude journaling. Or if you don't have time to journal or, you know, you, you just want to journal the future, whatever it is, just take some time to start and end your day by thinking, if you can't write it, the things that you are grateful for. You know, when you wake up, you're, when you wake up in the morning, just the little things like, you know, the the pillow, the softness of that pillow that you spend your night with. <laughs> and the first conscious breathing that you enjoy in the morning when you wake up. Those are little things, but those are so good. Those are something to be thankful for because a lot of people are no longer here. They won't have the chance to wake up. And before the night ends, what about reflecting and thinking about, about how your day went by? You know, the meal that you enjoyed, the friends that you surrounded yourself with, or the help from other people. 
those things, I mean, we don't always get to have a perfect day. But one thing for sure, there's always something to be thankful for. And whenever you're thankful, whenever you're grateful, simply that gives you joy. When you're grateful all the time, you're joyful all the time. So be grateful. Number two, what about trying to do something nice? Or not just trying, or just do it. Do something nice for someone, someone else, you know? Because it can boost your own joy. When you know when you when you know that you were able to help somebody, you feel that joy, that fulfillment inside your heart. It's it's always better to give and to serve rather than to receive or be served. So have some act of kindness during the day. Share the, your, share the love. Smile at somebody. You know, just a simple smile will lighten up the day of someone. You will never know. You will never know. Number three, take time to connect with nature. Sometimes, I know it's getting cold in here right now, but, you know, just look at the window if you don't want to go out. And enjoy. Look at the trees, the bald trees, because the trees are getting balder right now. There's no more leaves, but that's what I mean. <laughs> but then they're still pretty, right? They're still pretty. Though it looks creepy. But yeah. <laughs> And if you can, have a walk in nature. Because, you know, oh, I don't know if you are doing this, but I can simply attest that walking at the park is so refreshing. And that really makes me so joyful. That really like, oh, it's so different when I get to walk at the park. I love walking, um, spending time in nature. So yeah, if you're not doing it, try it. And then, you know, just be, just enjoy that moment and be present. Be present. Which leads me to number Four, have some mindful moments. Take time to savor the small pleasures of life. Like a good cup of coffee if you're drinking coffee or tea or just even drinking that favorite drink. Savor it. Or just looking at the beautiful sunrise if you are a morning person or sunset, or, you know, anything. If you have a family, take time to be present with your kids. There's so much things to be grateful for. I mean, there's so much things to be happy or to be joyful for. So take some time to, to relax and be present and... Yeah, and then, you know, I know the rush. I, I know that we are living in this world that's really fast pace. But just take some time to pause, even just for for a minute or so, and be alive. Really, be alive. Be mindful. So there you go. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What brings you joy? Share your stories in the comment section wherever you are um, listening to this podcast. Maybe you're listening this um, in YouTube or in Apple Podcast or Spotify. Take some time to, to 
say something, to write a comment. I really do appreciate um, reading those comments. I, I do read them and I love them. So I'd like to hear from you. I really do. Or, you know, um, you share, I mean, yeah, share your stories in the, those moments of joy with me or with us, our community. You can also send me a DM in Facebook, Instagram, so you can, you know, um, we can connect and you can share your story with me. Or yeah, email Janice0419 at yahoo.com. So let's spread joy together. And as we wrap up today's episode, let's remember that joy is not just for the good times. It's a companion in all seasons of life. A light that shines through even the darkest moments. Let's embrace and spread this joy. Not just during the season, but every day. Thank you so much for joining me on your Energy Booster podcast. I'm Janice, and I'll be back next week with another episode in our December series. Until then, may you find joy in the everyday moments. I love you, and God bless. Bye.